Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Career Guide Placement Solutions. So today I will be discussing about some hiring updates of Infosys and TCS. This was the most commonly asked questions that was coming up from your end that uh, when is going to hire Infosys system engineer again? When is the system engineer hiring get started again? Also, uh, regarding TCS, many of you have registered for TCS ITP exam, but you have not got till now any exam link or any uh, update uh, from TCS that whether the exam is going to be conducted or uh, they are planning to hire for the next batches. So what is all update regarding their hiring? So I thought of discussing with you all. So this video is all about it today. So watch this video till end and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you are new to my channel, join the Telegram group. Link is in the description box. So without much further delay, I will start off with the video. So the first thing I would show is about the Infosys. Uh, will Infosys hire again for system engineer? So I will show one uh, very big update. Uh, see. This is the news that was coming up last Wednesday that Infosys recruitment drive 2022 after announcing a profit of Rs. 5,809 crores for the third quarter. Infosys, India's second largest IT company on Wednesday said it is planning to hire 55,000 freshers for FY22 as part of its global graduate hiring program. Giving details to various new agencies, Chief Financial Officer Nilanjan Roy said that IT firm continues to prioritize investments in talent acquisitions and development and have further increased the global graduate hiring program to over 55,000 for FY22 to support the growth ambitions. So the thing is that currently you know that Infosys is hiring for DSP and SE role and this is going to be conducted till 31st of July. So this is the last date for the exam for DSC and SP role. The next hiring which is going to be seen from Infosys side is for system engineer SE role. So in SE role, uh, it may be, it can be said like uh, we are not pretty 100% sure, but it can be said that the hiring may start from uh, August in the month of August because this is the last date 31st July for DSC and SP role next hiring will be system engineer and it will be conducted in the month of August and also what are the batches that are applicable to sit for this system engineer role is 2019 batch 2022 batch 2021 batch 2022 and also uh, 2023 batches will be applicable to sit for this role uh, for 2019 and 2022 2020 so for these two batches, uh, it can be said that this is the last hiring for system engineer for them for 19 and 20 batches. No more hiring will be seen for them. But for 2021 and 2022, this is not the last hiring. One more hire uh, in the, like in the last month of this year, one more hiring will be seen uh, after August. And for 2023, uh, the exam will be on campus. The news that is coming up is for 2023 batches, it will be mostly on campus. But for 2021 and 2022, this is going to be off campus and uh, 19 and 20 batches. This can be the last hiring from Infosys for regarding system engineer. So uh, Infosys is planning only to hire for three roles in the next coming months. That is for DSC roles, for SP roles and for SE, that is system engineer role. These are the three hiring that is going to be conducted from Infosys side in the next coming months. And it can be said that it will be uh, conducted in the month of August. And Infosys, as I read that news, that they are planning to hire nearly 55,000 fresher candidate in this year. So don't worry, many of you already have got placed in Infosys, but, but still there are few candidates whose dream company is Infosys and want to be a part of this company, IT company. So for them, this is the golden opportunity. The next update which will be coming up for, from their end will be system engineer role. So stay tuned to my channel as they post the job vacancy update. I will uh, come up with that video for you to just fill it up because for you that will be a golden opportunity. Uh, to sit for that exam and to don't miss that update. Second thing which I will discuss is TCS ITP exam registration. So first thing I will show you that when you log into your TCS Next Step portal, 
this sort of thing you can see in your application status that is applied for drive application received and candidate registration so for many candidate only these two columns is seen application received and candidate registration this row is missing applied for drive for them i will say that you i like from my opinion uh, tcs is not give you the chance to uh, uh, like to sit for tcs itp exam if you have applied but still this is no, if you are it is not showing then no there is no chance for you to sit for tcs itp but if uh, this all these three options are show, uh, like showing in your next day portal then uh, don't worry tcs is going to hire for the itp exam in the next coming month maybe in the month of august or september because the ninja digital hiring for the previous batch like for uh, 2022 batches uh, was conducted in the year of like 2021 it was conducted in the month of august and september right so this year also it can be seen the hiring in the month of august and september so till now if you have applied like here you can see 23 4 2022 so in the month of april this was applied and till now this is showing that applied for drive if tcs has no plan to hire you to uh, like to give you uh, exam link and all then this column would have omitted till now but still it is showing that means there is a chance for you to sit for tcs itp examination also one of my uh, like subscriber has mail to itp support and this was the mail that was coming up from their end dear candidate please note that if you are shortlisted and if you have applied for the drive successfully you will receive the hall ticket on your registered mail id and also note that it is going out in batches okay so if you are so it is clearly mentioned that if you are shortlisted and applied for drive successfully that means uh, if this is showing that applied for drive and you are eligible like you meet all the eligibility criteria uh, like 60% and all that backlogs and all the thing is clear from your end then don't worry tcs is going to hire you uh, they are taking time because uh, for the previous batches uh, every like onboarding and all the thing is not yet over so they are delaying a bit like all the other it companies but uh, they uh, as you have filled up the form it is not that they will not take the exam so don't worry regarding it for the infosys also i have said the system engineer role is going to be seen very soon in the month of august so stay tuned to that also and if i have any further update uh, regarding any other company like wipro and all then also i will provide you that update so for that you need to stay tuned to my channel so i hope this video was helpful to you today so if you like the video then definitely like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends because they may also have the same doubts as you are having so share it as much as you can and uh, don't forget to subscribe i post uh, new video every single day to provide all updates and job openings so thank you for watching today's video bye